You're listening to KYST 89.3, The Bowl. The Bowl. The Bowl. And now time for South Tucson Youth Football. Simulcast on AM 1400, The Growler. And on South Tucson Local Access Channel 22. Good afternoon, everybody, and we are back with more South Tucson youth football here on a Thursday. <clears throat> it's getting to be around afternoon time. Kids are out of school. Uh, most of the people are out of school anyway because the itis has hit South Tucson pretty dang hard. But what's going to hit equally as dang hard uh, would be our upcoming game, which features number five ranked, the Creamy Surprise. You know them. They are the defending South Tucson Youth Football Champions. They're taking on Flappy Pappy's Pancake Shanty. Never an easy opponent in the Gluttony League, which was the best conference last season. Creamy Surprise coming in 4-1 and one and undefeated so far in conference play 2-0 and oh, the, uh, in the Gluttony League. Flappy Pappy's 3-2 and two and 1-1 one and one in conference. So, you know, this will be a huge marquee win to get their season rolling. But let's go ahead and talk to you about Star Watch, brought to you by Wall to Wall Salve. Don't be a salve, not be a salve. If you need ointment, cream, or paste, better call Salve. Sponsors of the number 28 Dodge Stratus and the Diddler Cup Racing Series, driven by Ennio Sperini. Go Salve! <clears throat> and we've got. Let me pull up my list here to make sure I got everything right. Flappy Pappies. Let's go left to right on that one. That is. Outside, linebacker Apothecary Jones. In the middle, that is defensive back Dwayne Dwest. And on the right, that is their tight end, Dan Marley Edwards. Dan Marley Edwards. On the other side of that, it is our star players for the Creamy Surprise, our defending champions. Can't talk about them without talking about Q Beagles, the... Star quarterback and possibly the MVP of the playoffs last season. Not pictured. He missed picture day. Is Dodecahedron Lewis, their wide receiver. And in the middle of that is outside linebacker Krug Jugman. So be sure to tell us who you think is going to win in the chat. We got a lot of excited signs uh, over here at the Muni for Flappy Pappies. Uh, most of them just saying, kill me, please. I, I It hurts to live. Uh, the itis is really coming through badly. There's just someone actually made a go 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 flappies sign out of their own mucus it's impressive um it is it is brutal here in south tucson the itis has just morphed into so many things i can't tell you how many children have sneezed into my open mouth today um when i was trying to do some reporting uh, down at the sidelines uh, so i'm i'm probably gonna be out of commission for a bit but in, nonetheless the show must go on these kids are full they are sick they are vomiting everywhere and they are ready for some football. Let's go down to the Muni. You are looking live at Municipal Field number 60 in downtown South Tucson, Arizona for our big game here this evening. It is the Creamy Surprise, ranked fifth in all of South Tucson. Kicking off left to right, they are the visiting team in all white with their traditional brown helmets too. The home team, Flappy Pappy's Pancake Shanty, white pants, and bright green helmets and jerseys. That's a good return to get things started. <clears throat> and they'll get things started from their own 36. Going with the, uh, well, I was going to say a wildcat sort of formation, but Harry Lyle is just going to rush it himself, the quarterback for Flappies. Third 
that's a 14 yard rush by Harry Lyles again and that Wildcat formation has really been uh, a staple of Flappy Pappies if the, if the other team can't really uh, plan for it it's a spread option play actually <clears throat> that's a chance Macklin the uh, running back 16 yards up the middle and to the left his first of the game and you can see a lot of running options uh, on Flappy Pappies the creamy surprise similar with their multiple option uh, offense but I gotta say when it comes to throwing uh, be a 10 yard catch by Pete Valentine and just like this flappies are in the red zone down to the nine yard line that's the first pass from Harry Lyles and that's the first pass of the game at all he's gonna drop back and incomplete just misses his target over the center Third and goal, this would be huge if they could stop them on this one and force a, <clears throat> well they do, they get right through and sack Harry Lyles, he took a big drop back, so that's a nine yard loss, fourth and goal, and it looks like the, Field goal attempt is up and it is good. So halfway through the first quarter, it's 3-0 Flappy Pappies. Creamy surprise, starting things off on going backwards, a loss of three. They started things on their own 37 and Q Beagles lining up. He's got three backs behind him <clears throat> and he's going to take off running and get sacked for a loss of four. This is a strong defensive stand by Flappy Pappies. They're fighting on this. They're using this crowd to fight on. A lot of time for QB goes. He's going to launch it, but it's caught. A 41-yard catch. Dodecahedron Lewis. That is the player you need to watch out for. And he snatches that one down. Gets tackled. And it's a first down, and this drive is entirely different with that play. <clears throat> Arnold Cummings lost a one. Third and three. <clears throat> 
third and three. Well, everyone is sick as a dog here, but Arnold Cummings able to get five yards out of that one. It's a touchdown for the creamy surprise. Cummings able to find a breakthrough and make it into the end zone. They take the lead, and here comes the extra point. Let's see how Flappies can respond with 51 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Shotgun snap. He's going to do a bit of a bootleg and chuck it off. But there's a flag on the play. This is likely not roughing going to. Passer. Yep, roughing Defense. the passer. Automatic first down. <clears throat> and Chance Macklin gets hit really hard but enough for the first down This time with a catch for 16 yards over the first down marker <clears throat> and well into creamy surprise territory. A lot of action, not a lot of scoring, but some big plays so far in this first quarter. end of the first quarter it's seven to three creamy surprise but flappy pappies are well on their way to the end zone and i gotta say they had a great <laughs> they had a great and they're gonna have a great run in harry lyles is gonna juke and jive and make his way into the end zone and give flappy pappies the lead and we've got a game on our hands nine seven touchdown flappies i'm just gonna tell you about the great uh great sideline game they had going on between the first and the second quarter. Uh, they had the old flip flop and fry uh, contest, which involved uh, basically flipping pancakes into, uh, it was a teammate game, team game, um, in honor of Flappy Pappy's uh, world famous fried pancakes. They're deep fried pancakes um, because literally you can deep fry anything if you try hard enough. Um, and uh, basically they'd have two teams of two, one person with a spatula and some of Flappy Pappy's pancakes, flipping them in the air, and they had to go over a little wall, and then the, uh, the team, their teammates had to catch it in a vat of searing hot oil. And it's always exciting because, you know, someone could get horribly burned. And, uh, you know, not too much with the burning, but, you know, some really great things. Some splatter effect. Uh, I think one person may have lost sight in an eye, but, you know, it's been great. Hmm. 
<laughs> so here we go. Cube Eagles dropping back second and 15. It's caught. Cummings gets four of those yards back third and 11. And boy, there have been penalties all over the place. Another face mask giving Flappy Pappies. Another chance at the end zone with a fresh set of downs. Second and goal, Macklin down to the five. 320 and counting left in the half. Third and goal right now for Flappies. This is a huge stop. They are spread over the field. And they're going to run it up the middle. And Macklin, uh, maybe he didn't have a good handle on that football. Uh, maybe it was just, maybe it's slippery. Their hands are just covered in phlegm. And, and people are just sick and potentially dying. Fourth and goal. Kicker's good enough to make that one. He's healthy enough. But uh, the itis has been really hitting South Tucson pretty hard here in week six. And it's going to make it 13 to 7. So the creamy surprise again, holding Flappies to a field goal. Dodecahedron Lewis going to bring it, bring it back 22 yards, and they got 233 left to go in the half. Plenty of time and still to go. be holding him off to punt again so 153 to go so flappy pappies have been doing really well so far <clears throat> they maintain the lead and they could potentially put another three or even six. That's going to be another first down. Bubba Mitchell. Oh, Bubba. Yeah. 
reception. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second. That's going to be a loss of two for Flappies. Lyles throwing it only when he really needs to, opting for those shorter passes. They've been running it pretty heavily. Gonna bring up fourth and four. They went long for it, and the creamy surprise forcing them to go for it again. This is gonna be very interesting. See if they can convert or have the creamy surprise. They got a lot of time to throw and a flag. Oh, did they just roughing the passer will absolutely give them. <clears throat> a fresh set of downs and so flappy pappies have a whole nother shot of this Second and three, and taking down another. Personal foul, face mask. Another Defense. face mask, goodness. Automatic first down. And they're in for the touchdown. Harry Lyles running it in himself. And the champions are struggling, committing too many penalties. And this is what it comes to. 19 to seven, gonna be 20 to seven. Let's see what the creamy surprise can do. Dodecahedron Lewis, 22 yards on the return. 27 seconds to go. fourth and five they will punt yet again that's the thing yeah they're committing mistakes on defense but they're not doing it on offense either this is astounding personal foul face mask defense still first down Another touchdown for Flappy Pappies. With two seconds to go, they are putting the hurt on. What a huge play. Laying out. 
and getting it with two seconds to go. They are putting the hurt on the creamy surprise. There is an upset brewing and this crowd is using the little bit of energy they have. That's going to bring up the halftime where we're going to take a quick look at one of our lovely sponsors around and about the town of South Tucson and tell you a little bit about them. So this is our little local spotlight corner and we're going to talk to you about Diddler's Family Restaurant. And there ain't nothing little about Diddler's. Diddler's is the place uh, that loves America. It's America's restaurant, really. Diddler's Family Restaurant. The Diddler Family. That Diddler name has been synonymous with good food at reasonable prices for so many years. And you can just talk to L. Smith Diddler himself if you don't believe it. They have a buffet where they probably clean everything out. But it's really in the a la carte dining and their Sunday bar. Oh, it's so good. It, Diddler's is the place. You know, you really want to take the family to diddlers and, and and the kids the kids love diddlers all uh, more than anything else they just are excited to go and it's a great family restaurant experience uh, it's wholesome it's it, it's just it's just a good time uh, to bring everyone you love uh, so go ahead and get diddlin and of course they are the sponsors of the diddler cup racing series which of course is our uh, star car racing series that you can find on this very channel. Uh, our next race will be race number 18 out of 20. Getting close to the end of the season. And that will be Sunday at 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Roughly that time. So do check us out at that time. Uh, that will be uh, the someone will probably get hurt badly 300. Uh, it's going to be a figure eight track so that'll be good. Creamy Surprise trying to right the wrongs after they got hurt uh, on the scoreboard in the first half. That's a 23-yard rush for Q Beagles into the Floppy Pappy's half of the field. He gets taken down. It's first and 10, and that's a solid opening play. They are down by 20. They get a touchdown right off the bat. The creamy surprise have answered in a big way with less than a minute on the clock taken in. Thank <laughs> you. 
personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Still first down. Flappy Pappy's back on the attack, already down to the 25. Oh, hit hard is Dan Marley Edwards. He was upended, just gets tumbled end over end. Third and inches, doesn't even get the first down. Look at this hit. Let's see that child just get upended once more. <clears throat> And Colby Dockery runs it in for the touchdown. Well, they answer back when Creamy Surprise come back. See what the creamy surprise can do. They're still down by 20. Cummings only gets three on that one, goes to the left side, attempts for it, unable to get anything. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Automatic first down. And just like that, Wallace Hawkins with a touchdown. Creamy surprise. Back in it. Drinking my own hubris. Nice roll. And 
and they need to make a stop on defense. They have a chance to come back. There's still a whole quarter of play to go. <clears throat> They're down by 13, but that's what you're seeing right now. Four touchdowns and a field goal as Flappy Pappy's last five drives. <laughs> and Sterling Jordan, there you go. That's how they've done it. The 31 points gained in the last five drives really close. Flappy's team up really have Johnny Cakes come late. Oh, it makes me so mad. Johnny Cakes come lately. So down 13, the creamy surprise are already heading down the field. <clears throat> They're on the 37. They are pushing as we get to the last quarter of play. And Q Beagle is going to take it 12 yards. Plenty for a first down. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. And a roughing the passer call. Now the penalties seem to be going in the other direction. Sorry, there hasn't been much commentary. I've been kind of like in and out of it. <clears throat> and they're in for the touchdown. Arnold Cummings, another touchdown for the creamy surprise. And it is getting very very close. <laughs> the kick is good. Number twenty six back deep to return. <clears throat> and six points the difference flappy pappies need to just score at this point <clears throat> they'll take it to second and one huge play colby dockery just lowers his shoulder and gets hit and uh came out better for aware of than his uh, opponent on that one Personal foul. 
face mask. Defense. And a face mask again. This referee is loving throwing his flag. Again, um, Still first you know, I think we had the problem in the first game that the referees are just hacking away and sneezing and the flags are falling away or they're, sometimes they're just ha being used as handkerchiefs. And so whenever they get thrown, they have to kind of find a reason that it gets thrown because they're like, oh, crap, we got to do something about this. Flappy Pappies with three minutes to go, moving down the field pretty nicely, letting the clock continue to <clears throat> drain. Under three minutes to go, they're up by six on number five in all of South Tucson. And just as impressive of a task, defending champions, the Creamy Surprise, who, the Creamy Surprise have already seen two teams ranked above them lose. They could be moving up the rankings with a win. And yet here we are. They're second and three. Down by six. <clears throat> Gamara Edwards at the tackle. Great name. Great name. Well, you wonder how, how the head ref can project all that without a mic. Uh, the answer is amazing acu acoustics. The Munis have amazing acoustics. That's why you can hear all those things on the field. Those kids aren't mic'd up either. <laughs> Gamera. His name is just Gamera. Got an end around option. Oh no, it fell completely apart. Harry Lyles tackled third and two. But here's the thing they could easily kick a field goal. <clears throat> Creamy Surprise used their first timeout. Faking the handoff, and he's in for the touchdown. Harry Lyles putting a 40 on the board. For Flappy Pappies, it's going to be 41 in just a moment. Um, coach, someone want to get that ball? Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. <clears throat> Sometimes the game does that for some reason. You just get a close-up on the ball. And literally nothing happens. Dodecahedron Lewis returns it for 16, 147 to go. It's not over yet. However, creamy surprise. Looking down the barrel of a uh, a very uh, a very uh, dangerous gun, and they're gonna start off by throwing it to Stefan Gorman for five yards. But they gotta hurry back to the line. They got two timeouts. They're just opting to not use them just yet. <clears throat> Third and five, incomplete. Stops the clock. And that's going to be good for a first down. Stefan Gorman again, 12 yards. First down, stops the clock until the ball is spotted and then it runs again. So two, two timeouts left for the Creamy Surprise, but they need two scores. Opting for the short pass, but there's a flag. <clears throat> Personal foul, roughing the passer. It's roughing the passer yet again. Automatic first down. Oh. Yes, sir. 
to be 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. <clears throat> A lot of time to throw. Overthrows it incomplete. 109 to go. That's 69 seconds, by the way, and that's nice. <clears throat> Creamy surprise, quickly running out of time. They need to score twice, and they throw it incomplete, overthrown once more. <clears throat> and a quick pitch play. It's only going to bring it to fourth and seven, and they're going to call their second timeout. Creamy surprise. Down to the 20. They need to go for it now. It is now or never. The game is essentially over if they do not convert this. A lot of time to throw. Batted out of the air by Ronald Hester. It's a turnover, and we're going to see yet another upset <clears throat> in South Tucson. as this sickly crowd is going to be making as much noise as their voice and their physical uh, abilities will let them. It's not a lot. Cornmeal Prescotti. That's Flappy's head coach. I like it. But we're clearly seeing <clears throat> Flappy's running out the clock here. That's going to be a first down. And they are off to the races. They may score again. They're chasing him down. They got him down. Colby Dockery, 68 yards. And with a huge exclamation point, I think Flappy Pappies will perhaps kneel this out. They got the win. They are going to beat the number five team in all South Tucson. And their ranking will suffer. <laughs> I love the player that just jumps over the pile. It just goes flying through and misses entirely. That kid is going to get hurt. <clears throat> well, they're back in the red zone again, but I can't imagine they're doing anything other than kneeling this one out. And sure enough, that will do it. That will do it here. The final score, 40 to 28. Flappy Pappies with the upset over the number five ranked Creamy Surprise. That now means three out of the top five teams <clears throat> have been upset so far. Four out of the six games that I've that I've streamed so far, or that I've simmed so far, uh, have resulted in a ranked team getting a loss. So we'll continue to see how that happens. But until next time, we'll see you on Sunday for more Diddler Cup racing action. We'll find out when the itis, is, uh, the itis epidemic is over, and we'll get back to more South Tucson youth football in Week 7. We'll see you then. Until next time, my name is Brian, and we say so long, Arizona. Why ain't it playing? All right, let's try it again. So long, Arizona.